Hey folks, Father Sumputik from CG Virus here. Uh, today we're going to use the uh, Natron add-in uh, recently created by Ole Andre. Uh, actually, it was refactored uh, by Ole Andre, um, and uh, it is an OFX plugin. And uh, currently, it, the build is supporting Windows and Linux. So, uh, what it does is basically it creates a uh, you know audio curve, which you can use for audio visualization. So we're going to see a demo about it. Uh, if you are using Linux, you can use it. Use this one. If you are using Windows, you can download this one. <coughs> and after downloading uh, the file, you will find this audio curve. Okay. What you need to do is basically you need to copy this guy here and uh, go to your installation folder. Uh, mine is in Home Natron 2, and uh, just go to the bin. And sorry, not bin. Uh, just go to the where it is plugin go to the OFX natron and uh, paste it uh, you know there okay and let's cancel it yeah so I have already done it so then fire up natron open it up yeah so now we're going to start working let's see all right so first let's uh, uh, make the assets okay so I'm just going to go here and this will be our asset, uh, the background. And uh, let's create a five band audio visualization, very simple one. So let's create a tab and uh, let's go to Roto. And let's make a simple rectangle. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go RGB and uh, let's see it here so this will be our first bar so we're going to create a uh, five band that means uh, you need to divide it with 100 divided by 5 okay so it should be 100 divided by 5 5 band so every one will have 20 then 40 then 60 etc etc so this one will be a 20 so I'm going to name it 20 so let's create another one all C and this will be 40 and then let's create another one all C this will be 60 and uh, press all C this one will be 60 80 1 2 3 4 and another one press all C and this will be uh, 100 okay so now what we're going to do is basically create a march notch and uh, let's plug all of them a1 then a2 then a3 then let's see a4 and a5 okay and uh, the background the b is here okay so let's see the march there we go all right so now what we need to do is basically we're going for our transform node press T and uh, let's create a transform in the X axis it is 0 alright and let's create another one this will be suppose uh, 200 X uh, or 150 there we go uh, let's get another one this will be 150 plus 150 that is 300 there we go so that's how we are going to use it so let me do it so here it is so uh, this transform is 0 then 150 then 300 then 450 then 600 okay and all of them we're going for hmm okay uh, let's do it from our transform again and we're going to uh, march all of them in our translate to scale it down a little bit oops okay let me do it hmm what we can do is basically I have disconnected the BG here so let's go to the transform and let's scale it down a little bit there we go and let's get another march and uh, this will be the background and this will be the foreground okay 
so here we go and transform so what I want to do is basically I can I want to transform it here and I want to scale it down a little bit more somewhere here okay there we go There's something like that okay just a demo okay so <coughs> now let's uh, come to the point okay you will find the audio curve wagon add-on in press tab and uh, here is your audio curve we are also you uh, we are also going to use audio VLC backend here to play the audio okay if you don't know about it uh, the link will be in the description I have also already demo it uh, quite a month ago so yeah see that there so now let's talk about the audio curve so in audio curve what you need to do is basically you will need a file path so let's go to the file path and uh, <coughs> I'm going to my asset and this is my audio so it's a WAV okay WAV and uh, another thing is press S uh, basically the uh, this kind of audio visualization is uh, done with 30 frame rate so I'm going for 30 frame rate here okay in the project setting now let's go to the audio curve and this audio curve should be also 30 frame rate okay frame rate 30 and other things will be uh, you know done interactively then uh, go to the curve start at zero curve start at zero that means uh, it will not go negative it will go only to the positive values okay so check it curve is smooth will create a smooth curve uh, but uh, you know audio doesn't need curve is smooth actually so I'm going to leave it here uh, curve height this is the important one so we have uh, created uh, five chunks of uh, curve okay five chunks uh, we need five chunks of curve here so this one should be 20 so I'm going for a uh, height X of 20 and height Y of 20 so which one is X and Y and which one is Y X is I, I think the probably it is the left one and uh, this is the right one so we're going to use Y here okay so this is the left sound and this is the right sound uh, for a stereo okay so we're going to use uh, 20 uh, I mean the Y value here okay so things are done so let's generate it here we go uh, the curve is generated so if you want to see it you can see it here okay this is the X curve and this is the Y curve so uh, we're going to use Y here and I'm going to name it uh, 20 okay so that's how I'm going to make the 40, 60, 80 and 100 as well. Uh, we are just going to change the 40, uh, uh, you know, the height range here. So I'm coming back. Okay, what we uh, can do is basically press Alt-C. Okay. And uh, then go to the, uh, this one should be 40, right? So let's create 40. <coughs> and uh, we can remove all animation here. And then we can go for 40 and 40. And let's generate let's go for all C and this one should be 60 so I'm going for 60 and I'm going to remove animation all dimension and we're going for 60 oops not 90 60 and 60 and I'm going to generate it okay so all files are generated so here is our 21 and this is the 40 this is the 60 80 and this is the 100 okay so now let's start working with these guys all right so let's make a uh, amplitude note here uh, we need a parameter to uh, you know control the amplitude so what we can do is basically we can create a just a demo checkerboard or uh, no, not checkerboard let's create a constant okay and uh, press G uh, control G to create a group and uh, let's uh, get out of that group and uh, what we can do here is basically we can uh, create a manage user parameter let's going to add I'm going to name it amp and it should be amp I don't know so let's create s amp amplitude something like that and it should be a float floating point okay and uh, here we go uh, let's top it up a little bit here we go okay let's close it uh, so this is our amplitude um, point so by default we are going for one okay we'll need it later so <coughs> let's name this one as 
amplitude okay done so now let's talk about the things so here is the transform node okay and uh, here is our let's go for two okay here is our 20 so what we could do is basically the save it uh, we could press control and we could drag this one in here okay this will work this will work pretty fine not a problem you can do it like that but what if you need some expression some uh, amplitude and things like that then it will be a problem so uh, what we can do is basically right click unlink here and remove the animation all dimension and let's go to zero there we go so we could use uh, right click uh, set expression here and we could use this one press control and drag it here okay this will also work but the problem will occur here press ok you will see let's see this one okay you will see that if I go here it will create you know some signing why it is uh, you know uh, making some you know um, breaking it it is uh, it is breaking the thing why because if you go to the edit expression you can see the number is too high okay and Python is natural Python is <coughs> you know having some hard time to get around with these numbers okay so what we can do here is basically um, press cancel uh, let's go to clear expression what we can do is basically we're going to create expression and we're going to copy this baked animation here so how to do it let's see okay so first of all uh, I'm in 20 and uh, let's go to the Y set expression and I'm going to drag the Y here okay into our amplitude so let's get it here press control and uh, link it here okay and here we go so this will be the our amplitude okay press okay <coughs> and then um, what we can do is basically uh, let's go for three here and uh, uh, check the you know the 20 source here and uh, copy this guy here copy copy animation and paste it here okay paste animation okay now you will see it will not uh, you know it will not have a hard time to animate okay it will be smooth so you can check it with your operating system uh, maybe it's a problem with my operating system or uh, it's a problem with natron I don't know the expression uh, what I have seen always that the expression is kind of slow in natron so yeah this is the way out okay so <coughs> that's how we're going to work with another things here so let's go to the transform 40 go here set expression control drag it here press into and uh, go to the amplitude press control here and uh, this will be done okay now uh, let's go to the 40 copy this animation and uh, go to the transform and paste the animation here okay okay now it's working and it's smoothly working yeah okay so that's how we're going to uh, you know do all this stuff so I'm come back yeah if it's jamming uh, what you can do is basically press amplitude because we will need it and go to the this maximize button okay so it is a floating point now so you can do it pretty easily here as well okay press ok and uh, it was from transform 360 so copy this guy copy the animation and paste it here where are you paste animation okay yeah so now it is working so let's go to 80 and let's go to 80 I'm going to set the expression control uh, multiplied by amplitude and let's go here press ok and uh, we are in 80 so 
let's go for two there you go um 80 and transform yeah let's copy this guy copy animation and paste the animation here okay and let's do the 101 as well so let's go to set expression I'm going to copy here and going for multiply amplitude here uh, press ok and go to the 100 <coughs> copy the animation and <coughs> paste the animation here <coughs> yeah so we are using translate you can uh, transform you can use any parameter here <coughs> not, uh, it will not be a problem okay so now let's see the demo here let's see if it's working or not yeah it's working perfectly there we go so if you want to uh, check the amplitude a little bit you can increase it a little bit as well so something like 8.4 okay 4 is super high so let's go for 6 or 5 4 okay yeah that will work so now let's play it with sound so to play it with sound uh, what we can do is basically press tap and uh, go to the audio VLC uh, the description will be in the link below so you can see the demo here so uh, we're going for uh, audio VLC let's go for a WAF okay so we want to play it and uh, I have chosen some press control to choose some range I think this one will be good so let's uh, cache it and I'm coming back okay so the cache is done and uh, let's play it here give it uh, 30 bits okay let's play it Bring the sky. I promise if you ever fail. Okay. So I'm using amplitude of 1.6, okay, here, yeah. to create the border. So that's how you can work with it. Thank you. I'm Father Simpathik from Virus, and we're going to see you next time. Bye-bye.